Hello and welcome to a tutorial on how to create your 3D paper graduation boxes here in Cricut Design Space. So as you can see I've already uploaded the file to my software. I'm going to click on it and make sure that it's highlighted with the green rectangle that matches the little button here on the right hand side that says add to canvas. Once I've clicked that it'll upload the file directly onto the blank canvas here and you can see everything has been grouped together. Now, for those of you who are inquiring as to how to resize it, what you will do is you will ungroup everything and you will layer, you will highlight, sorry, just highlight everything together and you will align it. So go to align and go to center. Now you'll see that everything has been overlapped. You want to regroup everything and then this will ensure that whenever you resize it, everything will be uniform. You're not going to have anything mismatched because now it's grouped together. And in order to resize, you go to the bottom right hand corner, you'll see the circle with the two arrows facing each other diagonally or facing apart from each other diagonally. You will click and hold on that and then you will resize it to the size that you want to work with. Now, the reason why you have to overlap them is that if you try to resize them in the original form that's been uploaded, you're going to get that little triangle that's going to say it's too, your project is too big for your mat. So to avoid that, it's always best when you're doing a cut file and you want to resize it, make sure everything has been aligned and overlapped, and then you group it together, click the bottom right hand corner and drag to the size that you want. So for example, even if I want it smaller, everything stays uniform. I'm not going to have to readjust anything later on. It's going to work perfectly. And then I will click on the side, click back, ungroup everything, and then I will see that all my pieces have been resized together. So one part of this is the top, one part is the bottom, and this little piece here is what's going to sit inside of the box so you hide all the little messy parts. This is the tassel for the graduation cap and there you have it. So now I will show you in regards to changing these perforated lines, the little dashes here, into score lines. Let me move this piece here so you have a better view. So when you upload the template you will see that you have all these little dashes. The dashes represent what would be your score line. Now if you are to leave it like this and when I click on it it says basic cut here on the right hand side. This dark blue part here is the actual piece, the outline that will be cut. That's to stay a basic cut. When I click up here it's showing me the little lines in here which are supposed to be my score lines. These can still be cut with your fine blade. They won't be solid lines, so that, that means that they won't be individual sections, but you'll have those perforation lines, like you know when you have a ticket for the movie or for a concert and then they rip them? That's what that will represent. Now I like clean lines when I'm making my boxes, so what I do is I change this basic cut line into a score line by going to the top left hand corner, clicking operation where it says basic cut and hitting score. Now it's going to look exactly the same. You're still going to see the dashes. However, the software is going to tell your machine to use your scoring tool so that the fine blade will not make the dashes. It will only use the scoring tool and make the score lines when you cut it with the machine. So like I said, it's still going to look exactly the same. Nothing really on the template is going to change other than what you see here on the right hand side. This is the part that matters because this is the software telling the machine that it's not to use the um, cutting blade, it's only to use the scoring tool. And then what I want to do is I want to make sure that everything is attached. So I highlight it all there and then I click at the bottom right and make sure that the lines are attached. Oh, I just saw something behind there. Let me move this again. Oop. There we go. So we will attach that. And then we'll do it to the second part here. That part was the base of the box. This is the top of the box. And I will do the same thing. I will click on it, go to my right hand side, and the part here that I can barely see that says basic cut are these lines inside. Let me go here. We don't want these to say basic cut. You, Like I said, it's your preference. If you don't mind having those little dashes, um, 
but for me there's always a chance that you might rip the box when you're assembling it or when you put something in it there's a chance that these little perforations can rip so to avoid that I'm going to change where it says basic cut on my right hand side I'm going to take my arrow go to the top left to operation click the downward arrow hit score and now the lines will be scored the software will now tell the machine do not use the blade only use the scoring stylus I will highlight the whole piece and click attached and there you have it so I've changed the basic cut lines into score lines so that way when I'm ready to fold my box the machine has scored it where it needs to be and I'll make my folding a lot easier and I've also showed you how to resize so let me just recap on that if you want to resize your graduation box please take everything just highlight every piece so I'm just gonna move them so a bit closer and you have a better view I'll bring this one back up here so what you need to do is just click anywhere that has nothing on it and highlight Oops. there we go move everything over so you just want to click and make sure that everything is highlighted group it top left uh, right hand corner where it says group group everything and then you can resize it by clicking this little arrow here bottom right click the circle and then drag everything together when you're done and you got to the size that you want click on the side click on there again ungroup and then you will see that everything is perfectly sized so I do hope that this tutorial did help you I showed you how to resize a template and I've also showed you how to change a basic cut line into a score line so happy crafting